Hello, dear people of America. Tonight, we are hosting the first presidential debate between 45th and 46th President of the United States. Thank you. The way our debate will work is simple. I got a set of questions that I'm going to ask you. Then each of you will have 30 seconds to quickly present all your thoughts and solutions in timely manner. The winner of this debate will be decided later in the poll by viewers, so it would be appreciated if you guys watching this would head directly to our channel community tab straight after our debate to vote for the winner. Without any further ado, let's begin. First question coming right up. And current president will be the first to voice his opinion. Is egg an animal? Good top of the morning to you, you laddies. It's Joe Bingles, and I'm here to tell you about a, uh, a, oh, what I was about to say. Is egg an animal, Joe? Oh, right. Yeah. So you see, egg is an animal because it was made by the dinosaurs decades before chicken was even discovered as species. And because of... What the fuck are you rambling about? Barack asked us if egg is an animal, and you're talking about fucking chickens. Get your shit together, you old hag. All right, since there are no retakes in this debate, you go straight up ahead and present your stance on this opinion, Trump. Eggs themselves cannot be animals. However, the embryos inside can become animal if they are getting sat on by the hen. Damn, I need to become an egg embryo, for real, for real. Shut the hell up, Joe. Anyway, my final stance on the matter in hand is that egg isn't an animal and we should make more pancakes with it. Of course this fat ass would bring pancakes into this. For fuck's sake, Joey, stop interrupting Donald. It's a debate. You both get 30 seconds for a reason, so you stay quiet during your opponent's speech. It's all right. I don't have anything else to add other than the fact that Biden is a bitch ass. Calm down, both of you. Next question is controversial one. Is water wet? Donald can go first this time. No, water is not wet, unlike every woman that stands next to me. Ahem. As I was saying, water cannot be wet because in order for something to be wet, it needs to be a solid surface. You cannot wet another liquid, therefore you cannot wet water with any other liquid. You can contaminate it or make it dirty, but you cannot wet the water. By the way, we at Trump Tower serve you the best possible original Trump spring water. And let me tell you, it's the best. No one does it like us. It's the best, very best water you can, in fact, intake. Thank you for that very much on accessory. Shameless plug for your shitty water. I'm going to repeat the rules once more to Joe. Now you will have 30 seconds timer to respond to Donald or make your own statements on this topic, Joe. Make it count. What do you mean it cannot be wet? Bro, it's literally water. It's always wet just by existing. Are you trying to gaslight all of the Russia that water is dry? What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, all right. I'm debating a guy that doesn't even know where he is. Is it really needed? Can't I just get the White House already? No, you cannot because I currently live in there, you gaslighting blob. Did this slimy bitch just call me a blob? Okay, okay, that's enough. Can't you two just respect each other takes and just calmly disagree with them? You two are acting worse than a goddamn rowdy preschoolers. We have a special format to prevent this shit happening. But you both just collectively defecate on this format and you always just resort to personal attacks. The third question I got for you two is why do men have nipples, Joe? You go first and don't you dare to interrupt him, Trump. Well, you see Obama, God gave us the nipples because we also deserve to get freaky in the sheets and also for people like Trump and Queso to lactate from their milk cannons up front. Excuse I am me. a strong believer in gender equality. That's why I want both women and men to free up their nips and you have a big plus if your nips are pierced. Mm. Okay, if that's all then. Let me just let Trump speak. What even is this question? I guess it's for the single dads out there to breastfeed babies or something. I don't know what answer you wanted me to give you. Next question, please. Okay, maybe we'll go a bit more political with the next one, because thus far I've been scarred for the rest of my life. Hmm? How, how will you deal with immigrant problem, Joe? Glad you asked. I have a couple of rooms empty in White House. If anyone want to come in, our lawn is getting a bit messy, so it would be nice if you could mow it. No odds required, only votes, because if you ain't voting for me, it ain't Mexican. Uh, that, that was something for sure. Um, now your turn, Donald, even though I have a pretty good idea what you will say. I will build the best huge, let me tell you, the biggest wall in the entire world on our south border that will make illegal immigrants tremble in fear and just stop trying to climb it. It's the best wall ever, the best and no other can come close. But for the legal ones, I have some work to do on my golf courses and construction sites. You can apply by contacting us at 45office.com and filling out a form there. Great. 
Now we got only one question left until you can go home. And for the last question, I have the most important one. Do you prefer PCs or consoles? You go first on. Bro, PCs are for work and consoles are made specifically for games. I'm a busy guy, one of the most busy guys in the world, in fact, and my tight schedule doesn't allow me to learn about all the nerdy PC components like which Intel monitor should I choose or what serial code makes the best keyboard like, bro, just shut up and get me a PS5 and boot up Spider-Man 2 and you can have this console for the next decade and it will work just fine and you don't have to completely deconstruct everything to play the newer title because it just simply works. That is actually a pretty good point there. Now, do you have a different opinion, Joe? Unlike Donald, I am a true gamer and I don't settle for the booty hole 4K CPS or 120 FPS with 1080p likes on past. I want the best that the game has to offer and just appreciate the developer work when the textures are crispy, clear, and animation is just insanely smooth. When I move around my gaming PC and I don't even need to learn about the PC building stuff, I just order the secret service to build me ice. Bring cooled PC every time it breaks down. It's ice cream cooled PC, all right? I think I know why the taxes are so high. If you ruin 10,000 PC, builds by melting ice cream inside. Anyway, that was the fifth and final question of the debate. Uh, we will post a poll shortly after the video release, so make sure to check out our community tab and to vote for whoever you agree with the most. Do you have anything to add, gentlemen? I just want to say that all of my opinion are superior by default, so the poll is pointless, but sure, go ahead and check out how I absolutely decimate Joe in the votes. 2020 election would like to disagree with that one. Subscribe to Oval Office Gaming right now or Barack will go get your oil with his drones.